Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how you can fix the issue of IPFS is not recognized as an internal or external command error which you generally everybody face in Windows machines. So let's get started. If you are watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Generally, we get this issue when you are failed or when you set an incorrect path in the environment variable. So how do we fix it now? So you go here and you type environment variable. So you can type environment variables. Here we have a plenty. So you go here environment variables and you click on the environment variable over here. Now if you see the Golang path is already set and if you see here you don't have to do it anything for user variable. The issue is in the system variable. Here in the path go back to the path here we have the Golang. In the same way we also have to install IPFS. So first let's find the path. So this is the path of the file. Copy the path, come over here and select new and paste it. Now you see that the path is there. Now click OK and just to make sure just double click it. Now it is there. Click OK again. OK. Now what you will have to do? You will have to close your terminal. Just type exit. It will exit the terminal and then open the terminal again. Now here you can type IPFS and you see that it is fixed. Now you don't have to do this kind of a drag and drop and then you know do the things worst. Now you can be able to do any kind of a things just the way we ran the daemon earlier right. So we can also do the same thing here. I can type IPFS daemon and you see now the daemon is going to start. It started copy this one go back to the browser close this one open it again control V press enter. Now you see that the daemon is working perfectly. So what we have done here we have set the path and then we closed all the terminals and then we executed it. This is the general problem which you get it when you started working with IPFS. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll see how we can upload the files and how we can retrieve the files from IPFS. If you like my video, if this video solves your problem, whatever you are facing it, just give a like and subscribe and comment. I'd be happy to read it. Thanks for watching.